Hi everyone, good evening. All right, let's start guys at exactly 7 p.m. How are you guys? Hi Leia, hello Edilo. Hi Jenny, hi Trisha, hi Alan. Good evening. All right. We now have one minute and then we can proceed now to the quiz show. All right. Hi, Maria. Good evening. What is the news, guys? Kamusta kayo? All right. Ayan. Buti na lang. Tapos na rin yung exam ko. Ayan. Wrong daw ang passcode kahit tama ang pagkakalagay. Ayan. Ito po yung passcode dun sa mga gusto mag-join sa Zoom. All right. It's now 7 p.m., guys, and welcome back to this accounting quiz show. And ilan ang ating participants today? We already have 12. I think we can proceed na sa discussion. So let me share again my screen, guys. Okay? Hi, Jamaica. Good evening. Hi, Monica. Good evening. 10, 10, 10. Ito po yung bagong code. For Zoom. Ayan. Very good. All right. And again, and again guys, uh, are you ready to win? Ready na ba ang lahat manalo? Okay, para dun sa mga bagong participants, I will just introduce again myself. So I'm Ed, Edgardo La Madrid, yung mahaba. Pero uh, for short, you can just call me Ed. Okay? Hi, Loli Ben. Welcome here the Zoom. Okay. And of course, i-introduce ulit natin kung sino yung mga winners from the previous accounting quiz shows. Of course, you will introduce sila. Ayan. So on the first accounting quiz show, we have Nestor, we have John, and we have Jaya. So Nestor is from Bicol State College of Applied Science and Technology, and then John is from Ateneo de Naga University, and Jaya is from Garcia College of Technology. And on the second accounting quiz show, we have Christopher, ayan, medyo romantic, meron pang hawak na flowers, he is from Bulacan Polytechnic College. Okay. And on the third accounting quiz show, we have Monha from the National University, Manila. Medyo busy, kaya nakatalikod. And, and then we have RJ on the fourth accounting quiz show. And of course, magaling si RJ. On the fifth accounting quiz show, siya pa rin yung winner. And, and he is joined by JV from DFCAMCLP. And then we, we have Jessa also from DFCA MCLB. Not sure kung classmates silang dalawa. And, and then on the sixth accounting quiz show, we have Nora Lynn. Nakita ko sa attendance si Nora Lynn. Hi, Nora Lynn. Uh, she is from PUP Santa Maria, Bulacan. Okay. Good evening, Loli Ben. Good evening, Job Hurt. Good evening, Mary Rose. Good evening to Penny, siya pala. Good evening, Jessa. Nag-review siguro si Christopher. Good evening, Jamaica. Good evening, Mary. All right. And uh, on the last accounting quiz show, we have Christian Jovrenado from University of Caloocan City. Siya yung hacker last time pala, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you're very welcome here, uh, Christian. Pero wag mo na kami ihack na yun, ha? Okay. So now, marami nga yung participants. And uh, just give me a short uh, moment para i-introduce kayong lahat. Ayan. So let me just check and read it, guys. So we have... We have Kenzel from De La Salle University of Dasmariñas. We also have Michelle. Michelle and Imutan from SLSU. And then we have John Art Garcia Quinones from Batangas State University, Arasov. And then we have Leonardo Mercader from PUP Manila. 
We also have Eliza Lines from PUP. Siguro invite to ni Leonard. Thanks, Leonard, for inviting. And then we have Rom Romeo Joe Nolasco from Baliwag Polytechnic College. And then we have, hi, Carl. Welcome here to Zoom. And then we also have uh, Christian Jarenado. Yeah, I graduated with Christian. Hi, Christian. And then we also have Georgie and B. Balasabas from Southern Leyte University, Southern Leyte State University or SLSU San Juan Campus. And then we also have Kier Martin Paug from SLSU. We also have Kate Hazel Siblag and then Edelo Madraso from SLSU too. And then we have Patricia Colas, Alan Jacob Monte de Ramos Angeles. We also have Elisa Nano Namo. And then we have Christine Loseño Dalan, Jessa May Hagna, Michelle Ann Imutan, na doble, Julie Ann Marian Gato, Daina Rose Capistrano, Mary Joy Macapanas, Janelle Celejo Belasteros, we also have Shenet Ejedo, Loleben Escalo, Gemaline Casenas, Romelin O. Rezos, Hanelet Montajes Gajes, we also have Trisha Megamolo. We also have Yorica Cabaltica. And then Jackie de la Serena. And then Marilu El Goyo. Sino yung mahabang sumasali sa Zoom? And then we have Michelle B. Biningayan. Job. Oh, oh, sorry. We have Job Hurt Bakiran Singson. So those people are from University, Southeastern, Southern Leyte State University, San Juan Campus. Okay. And then we have Michelle Biningayan from Baliwag Polytechnic College. And then back to SLS, you guys, we have Sirene Dawat, Chantal M. Batalier, Hazel Ochaves Bajau, Hani Jean Bacos Paho, Kyle T. Sabsalon. And then we have Jamaica Lau Tomol. And those people are from Southern Leyte State University. All right. And also we have Naida Ahmad from SCC Sambanga del Sur. Welcome here, Naida. Yeah. So invite ka ng kasama mo, ah, para mas marami kayo next time. Okay. We also have Roda Sahut from SLSU and then Mary Grace Gamana, Christine Flor Galeno, Jocelyn Lamoste, Jenny M. Alute, Alvin Mercado, Tony Rose Pokilia, Maria Happy Gael M. H. Makasukol. We also have Pamela Calas Donaire. Paano, ano kaya niya si Donaire? Yan. So those people, guys, are from Southern Leyte State University. And, and then we have Nor, uh, Norlin Bantugan from PUP Santa Maria Bulacan, our, our quiz show winner from the previous uh, accounting quiz shows. And then we also have Kenneth Lawrence Lim from PUP Santa Maria Bulacan Campus. Ayan, may bagong recruit si yung mga taga Bulacan. And then we have Diana Shaney A. Vinculado and Maricar Majus from SLSU. We also have IBC Gerja Gerjario from SLSU too. And then we have Mayor Rose Lara, Ray Mariel Ibas, Hermie Pagig. Regan Jr., Baby Jai Real Regana, Jamaica P. Sarsale, Mary Christine Priya, Janelle Zeledo Berasteros, Crisaline Valios, Anali O. Obrial, Elisa Namo, Diana M. Capua. Those guys are from Southern Leyte State University. And then we have Ryan Capistrano from Asia Pacific College. Ayan. Welcome here, Ryan. Sana next time meron ka ng classmate, ah. <laughs> No pressure, okay? And then we have Mary Angel F. Tisada from Southern Lady State University too. And then Leia Espenido del Rosario. Also, we have Monica. Monica Faula Diaz. Maria Juliet Bautista. 
Mariel D. Barrett, Journey Ann Balasbas, Kier Martin Paug, Jessa May Hagna, Leonor Baliante, those guys are from SLSU. And then we have Jessa Bell Langura from DFCA CLP, ayan, previous accounting quiz show winner, guys. And then we have Joanna Eno Elik, Carl Joshua Togonon, and Princess Paula Lim. And those guys are from SLSU San Juan campus. Okay. Ayan. Thanks guys for participating and I hope na lagi kayong nasa uh, event. Okay? So our event is a weekly accounting quiz show and I hope na you are inviting your friends para mas makita natin kung kung uh, kung sino talaga ang mas magaling sa inyo. Joke. <laughs> Actually, just invite them para para for your free time if ever you have free time meron kayong games na hindi naman ML, but an accounting game. Okay? Alright, let's see kung sino ang may mga questions today. Let me just check sa YouTube, guys. Hi, Mary. Hi, Leonor. Hi, Jessa. Hi, Kensel. Sir, saan po ulit magsasagot? I will explain later, pero dun pa rin sa, web, sa website. Ayan. And then we have Christopher. Good evening. Good evening, Mary. Good evening, Chub Hurt. Good evening, Kenneth. Sir, pini penge po link sa Zoom. Uh huh. Wait, guys. Let me resend yung link sa Zoom. Uh huh. Link sa Zoom. Sino yung mahaba ang name? Yeah. So I will send dito sa ano. Sa chat box yung Zoom details. Okay? Good evening, Kier. Good evening, Hazel. Good evening, Honey. Good evening, Princess. Good evening, Leia. Sir, pasend po ulit ng website. Ayan. Good evening, Heidi. So actually, yung website, guys, is nakapin. Nakapin na dito sa chat box. Can you see, guys, yung pin? Or need kong i-resend yung pin? So I think I need to resend yung pin, no? So let me just share for a while yung link para sa site. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think you're all ready, guys. Nag-review na ba ang lahat? Okay. Wait lang habang hinahanap ko yung uh, link. So here's the link. Sanan ko na sa chat box so that... Uh, everyone can go to the website. Okay? All right. Let's now proceed, guys, to the mechanics of this round. Okay? So here are the quiz mechanics. The questions will be answered on Accounting Upgrade website. So recently, she shared ko yung link going to the site and and an edition, nagpin pa ako. So ipinin ko sa taas, makikita niyo yung kulay blue na na pane. So click niyo lang 'yon and you can go na sa website ng accountingupgrade.com. Para dito sa mga nasa Zoom, isan ko rin dito yung link ng website kung saan magsasagot, okay? And then all answers will be automatically checked and will be given a corresponding point for each correct answer. So hindi na natin manually siya i-compute after the end of each round we can download from the website yung result and actually we can post uh, already sa website kung ano yung result para makita natin ng real time. In almost real time pala, sorry. And then a timer will, will be set to answer each question. So meron akong timer dito and maririnig nyo na lang yung, yung tunog kong time na. Okay? And then we have tie-breaking questions if, uh, if necessary kapag, kapag may magta-tie-break. So kung mapapansin nyo, from the previous uh, quiz shows, meron mga nagpa-tie break. Pero since kinapos ng oras, medyo napahaba, uh, diniclear ng winner. Pero for this time, let's uh, focus lang sa one para okay yung statistics natin, guys. Okay? All right. Let me just go to Accounting Upgrade website para ma-explain ko uh, hands-on yung website. Okay? So can you see yung page ko? Ngayon. Okay. So ito yung website ng accountingupgrade.com. 
So basically, ito is uh, kung nasa web view kayo. Pero kung nasa phone view kayo, ito yung makikita nyo. Okay? Ayan. So ngayon, actually makikita nyo na dito yung result or yung YouTube event natin. So pwede ito na yung gamitin ninyo para hindi na kayo palipat-lipat from YouTube or from Zoom. And then pupunta kayo dito ulit. So itong website na to, pwede nyo na itong uh, gamitin para ma-view yung event ng accounting quiz show. Okay? So just click play and then mag-play mag na yan. Okay? And then of course, in-include na rin dito yung chat box para hindi na kayo mahirapan. You make your life easier, guys. Ayan. Kung gusto nyo mag-chat, uh, feel free to use the chat box here. And then, ngayon, ito, itong interface na to, ito yung gagamitin natin for answering ng uh, questions. So temporarily, seven accounting quiz show pa yung nakalagay dito since sample pa lang siya. Ito is, uh, hindi mo natin tinanggal para makita natin kung paano ba uh, gamitin yung interface. Okay? So explain ko ngayon kung paano gagamitin yung interface. So click lang natin yung start. Kung uh, ready na mamaya, after kong i-refresh yung, yung code. And then after that, enter tayo ng username. For example, Ed. And then email, info at accountingupgrade.com. And then phone number. Ayan. After entering that, click next. And then ready na tayo na mag-submit ng answers. So ngayon, kung papansin nyo guys, yung question is hindi dito naka-reflect. So of course, need natin hindi i-reflect dito para ma-view nyo sa slides na ipinepresent ko yung mga questions. And then para makaset tayo ng appropriate time for each question. Ayan. So wag nyo i-click guys na palit-palitin yung mga choices kasi kapag nag-click kayo dito, for example, true, yun na yung final answer ninyo. Okay? Wala bang clarification doon? So kung mali yung naklik ninyo, for example, naklik nyo bigla yung ano, yung yung false, pero true naman pala yung gusto nyong isagot, hindi nyo naman mabago, guys. So uh, let's make sure na kung uh, sure na kayo doon sa answer, saka nyo lang siya ilalagay dito sa interface. Okay? Ayan. So after ng mga questions, uh, for example, 10 questions or 11 questions or 12 questions, just click submit, which is nandito rin siya sa part na to, and then your your answer will be submitted na. And then after the quiz show, I will just download it sa website para malaman kung sino ang nanalo for this accounting quiz show. Okay, guys. Question, guys. Let me know kung meron kayong question. Ayan. So kung wala na kayong question, uh, we can proceed now to the actual event. Okay? So let me just read again, guys, yung chat box kung meron kayong mga tanong. Okay. Good evening, Annalie, Kate, Christine, Ray, Mariel, Dina. Okay. Parang wala namang question or masyado ako mabilis. Okay. Anyways, pwede kayong mag-drop ng questions while I'm reading yung uh, rounds. Okay. Let me just continue, guys, on the slides, okay? So here are the rounds for this accounting quiz show. We have easy level, which is true or false. And of course, that will consist of one point. And then we have average level or medium level, which are multiple choices, which, uh, which is two points. And then after that, syempre, huwag kayong susuko kung meron kayong hindi sure sa average and easy level. Kasi yung difficult level, which is identification, will consist of three points. Okay? We have OPPO F5 Youth entering the waiting room. Welcome, guy. Welcome here, OPPO. Okay? So dito sa, sa Zoom, meron ba kayong mga questions? Or sa, or sa YouTube, meron ba kayong mga questions? I think wala naman, no? Wala nang nagre-raise ng question. So baka gusto na talaga ninyo mag-start. Okay? Okay, kung ready na kayo mag-start, guys, we can now proceed to question number one. But before that, let me refresh yung website para magamit na natin. Okay? Just wait for a while while I'm refreshing the website. Okay. 
So I have clicked already the update website. So I refresh nyo lang yung web page nyo para ma load yung updated na interface na gagamitin natin for this accounting quiz show. Okay na ba guys? Na refresh nyo na ba? After nyo refresh, enter your name, your ah your surname and then email and number. So yung username kaya tano gusto nyo gawing username, but please make sure na yung email and number is verifiable. So yung email and number is confidential and hindi ko naman siya i-release for this quiz show. I just need that para ma-identify kung sino talaga yung winner. Okay? Question guys. Let me know yung question para makaproceed na tayo. Ayan. Okay na cancel. Na-refresh ko na yung page. Okay. Question. Question before we finally start. Wait, let me check guys kung okay na sa akin yung uh, interface. Wala pa rin. Bakit wala pa rin? Wait lang, check ko lang. Karoon tayo ng glitch yata. <laughs> Wait lang po, sorry, sorry. Ano yan? Wait lang po. Saglit lang po ah. Anyways guys, uh, since this is also a professional networking event, feel free to message using chat box and baka may maad kayong friend. Ayan. Baka magkaroon kayo ng bagong friend. Just feel free to use the chat box habang di pa tayo officially nag-start ng question. Okay? Let me just check kung bakit hindi pa nag-a-update. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. May nahanap na ba kayong friends, guys? Ayan. Wait lang, guys. Ha? Sorry, Matt. Nagkaroon lang tayo ng konting uh, technical issue. Okay? Ayari. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Okay. Kindly refresh guys para ma-update ninyo yung website. Okay. I will refresh din dito. Ayan. Kung mapapansin nyo, okay na yung uh, interface. So you can click now guys yung start. And then after that, enter nyo na yung username nyo and then email and number. Okay. So let me know kung meron na nakatapos para I can read na yung question number one. All right. Let me know if you're already fine. Wait lang po, sir. Yes, Joanna. I'm waiting. Willing to wait. Yeah. Hi, Lola Ben. Kindly of check, Lola Ben, kung okay na. Hi, Gemaline. Gemaline, good evening. All right. So let's now go to question number one. Question number one is on the easy level. Again. So the question number one is true or false. And this consists of one point. Again. Okay na po, sabi ni Lolebin. Again, okay na. How about the others, guys? Are you already fine? Okay. I think okay na sila. Ayan, okay na si Nora. Parang mananalo na ulit. Hi, Jessa. Okay na. 
Okay, since okay na ang lahat, okay na okay. <laughs> we can now proceed to the event. Ayan. So the first question is on the easy level. True or false? Question number one. Under section 186 of the negotiable instruments, I sorry, section 186, tama po yan. So under section 186 of the negotiable instruments law, a check must be presented for payment within a reasonable time after its issue or the drawer will be discharged from liability thereon to the extent of the loss caused by the delay. By current banking practice, a check becomes stale after more than six months or 180 days. Wag niyo pong pansanin yung uh, section 186 kasi hindi po tayo lo ngayon. Ayan. So sinasabi ko po na true yan pagdating sa under section 186. Okay. Sorry na guys. Ayan. Okay. Question number one. Are you already fine guys? So that we can proceed to question number two. Monica, okay na po? Okay na ba yung registration or okay na yung question number one? Ayan. Baka sabihin ni Jessa, basic lang yung tanong ngayon. Yes, we are in the easy round. <laughs> pero as compared dun sa mga nauna natin quiz, medyo hindi naman masyadong madali, pero uh, hindi naman masyadong mahirap. Of course, it's your Friday night and thanks God it's Friday. So, bawasan natin ang konti yung stress ninyo guys. Ayan. All right. Meron pa bang question for the question number one? Meron bang comment, violent reaction? I think wala na guys, so that we can proceed na to question number two. Sir, good evening. Hindi po ako makap-answer at makapanood dito dahil nawawala po ang signal. Nasa biyahe po kami pa uwi ng Southern Lady. Ayan. Mm. Mm -hmm. Actually, ano naman eh. Uh, siguro kung ma-present ko yung question, you can sneak na kung nawawala-wala yung signal ninyo para if ever may ma-miss kayo, uh, you can still uh, go back para mabalikan ninyo later. Pero hindi natin pwedeng uh, mahintay siguro Allen kasi medyo marami yung ano ma yung ma-delay. Yeah. Yeah. Siguro kung mag-proceed na to sa ano mo sa interface mo or sa desktop mo or sa phone mo, snip nyo na para if ever ma-move natin, you can still go back and ma-answer nyo sa site, okay? Okay, question number 2. Question number two on true or false, an impressed fund system used to manage Petika's transactions has the following entries. A, a check is drawn to establish the fund, debit petty cash, credit cash in bank, and then B, payment of expenses out of the fund, debit expenses, credit petty cash, and then C, replenishment or increase of the fund, debit petty cash, and credit cash in bank. So the question is, true or false? Again. So let me read again, guys. So by the way, guys, this is not uh, multiple choices, but a true or false question. Dapat pala ginawa kong ano, iba yung uh, numbering or lettering. Okay. So an impressed fund system used to manage petty cash transactions has the following entries. A, a check is drawn to establish the fund, debit petty cash, credit cash in bank, and then B, payment of expenses out of the fund, the debit expenses, credit petty cash, and then C, replenishment or increase of the fund, debit petty cash, and credit cash on bank. Okay. Ayan. So that is the question number two. Are, are you already fine, guys? Or meron pang question? Alan Jacob, next quiz show na lang dahil malapit na po kami sa Quezon Province. Doon talaga wala kami signal. Ayan. Oh, ay, sayang naman, Alan. Anyways, uh, ingat ka sa biyahe mo and sana ma-enjoy mo yung trip mo. Okay? Ayan. Anyways, Alan, see you sa next accounting quiz show. Okay? All right. I think we're done na, guys, to question number two. And now we can proceed to question number three. Baka nagmamadali yung iba. Baka may lakad pa or may mag-aaral pa. Question number three. 
a fluctuating fund, na doble, sorry, fund system used to manage petikas transactions as the following entries. A, a check is drawn to establish the PAN, debit petty cash, credit cash in bank, and then payment of expenses out of the PAN, memo only, and then replenishment or increase of the PAN, debit expenses, and credit petty cash. Ayan. So a fluctuating fund system. Isa lang po yung fund, ah, sorry. Ayan. So let me read again, guys, for the benefit of all. Baka naglo-loading pa yung iba, or baka... Nasa kabilang website pa or nasa Zoom pa. Ayan. So a fluctuating fund system used to manage petty cash transactions has the following entries. A, a check is drawn to establish the fund, debit petty cash, and credit cash in bank. Letter B, payment of expenses out of the fund, memo only. And then C, replenishment or increase of the fund, debit expenses, and credit petty cash. So by the way guys, kung mapapansin niyo yung topic natin is hindi masyadong nagje-jump from one topic to another topic and hinahaluan ko lang siya ng other topics just to steer yung uh, excitement sa event. Pero kung mapapansin niyo guys, yung question is magkakalapit lang siya sa isa't isa. Bakit? Kasi po ginagawa natin yung questions para sa uh, niluluto natin ng course. Ayan. So hindi siya magkakalayo. Pasensya na guys kung baka expect niyo is full accounting yung Quiz. So, hindi po. Hindi po whole accounting. Okay? Okay. Question number four. I think everyone is already fine now with the question number three. Meron bang question, guys? May question din kayo? Bawal. Ako lang pwede magtanong. Sorry. Joke lang. <laughs> Joke lang po. Ayan. Tahimik po yung mga nasa-zoom natin. Feel free to let me know kung meron kayong comments or clarifications. Ayan. Question number four. Certified checks are those stamped by the bank indicating sufficiency of fund. These checks shall not be included anymore in the total outstanding checks since these are no longer outstanding. Okay. Ayan. By the way, guys, unlike from last time na konti pa lang tayo, binabasa ko na agad yung uh, tamang sagot after the end of this question. So now kasi, since gumagamit tayo ng website, malalaman ko lang yung mga correct answer ninyo after ng event. So, so basically, hindi natin siya madi-discuss after each question. Ayan. Meron lang limitation, guys. But anyways, since you can already see yung correct answer after each round, after each question, uh, and then meron namang explanation kung mali kayo, so it will be much easier para ma-check ninyo kung tama ba talaga or mali kayo. Okay? Ayan. So question number four, I think everyone is fine, no? Wala na nagko-comment. And so now let's go guys to the average level which consists of two points for each correct answer. And so kung meron kayong hindi sure sa easy round, baka dito na yung pag-asa nyo guys na manalo for the average level. Ayan. All right. Average level. Question number five. This is a practice use to conceal a cash shortage wherein a check is drawn against first bank and deposited to the second bank to cover the cash shortage. Okay. So letter A, lapping. Letter B, kiting. Letter C, window dressing. And letter D, replenishment. So that is the question number five. And Okay, question guys or comments, clarifications. Ayan. Basic lang daw ang question number five. Sabi ni Kensel. Ayan. So I think we can proceed na to question number six. Ayan. Since basic lang yata kay Kensel. Joke lang. Joke lang po. Question number six. So it is a practice wherein an entity open their books even beyond the accounting period for the purpose of showing better financial reports. Letter A, lapping. Letter B, kiting. Letter C, window dressing. And letter D, replenishment. Yeah. Okay. Actually, metro related yung 5 and 6. So, so it depends on you guys. Sana mag magkabalik taran. Hi, Jamaica. Welcome here to Zoom. Yeah. So actually, magagaling na yung sumasali, guys. Mga nagtatap na po sa board. 
And actually, I, I am very happy na marami nang sumasali sa quiz. Ayan. And of course, marami na nag invite sa kanilang mga classmate, lalong-lalo na SLSU San Juan Campus. Ayan. Ilan ba kayo sa SLSU San Juan? Ilan ang accountancy students? Ayan. So basahin ko mamaya sa chat kung ilan kayo. Ayan. Hi, Carl. Okay. Since uh, wala namang question for this round, let's now go to the question number seven. Question number seven. So at the end of the period, Romeo Corporation had three cash accounts on a bank. So the first bank account is for payment of employee payroll, kulang ng, ng L. So the second bank account is for payment of bond sinking fund, and the third one is overdrawn. So letter A. The first account should be reported as current asset, second account as non-current asset, and third account as a current liability. So letter B. The first and second account to be reported separately as current asset and liability respectively, and third also as current asset. Letter C, the first and second bank account to be reported as non-current asset. Letter D, the first and second bank account to be reported as current asset net of the overdraft. And letter E, all of the above. And letter F, none of the above. Sorry guys, nagdagdagan yung choices. Dati A, B, C, D lang ngayon nagkaroon ng E, F. Ayan. Anyways, uh, okay lang yan. Kayang-kaya nyo yan guys. I believe in you. Matatalino naman kayo. Job Bird. Oh, okay na daw si Job Bird. Good evening, Crystal. Good evening, Lorwen. Good evening, Job Bird. Yeah. Okay. Let me know, guys, if you're already fine with the question number seven. Okay? So, so here's a Zoom. Meron ba kayong mga question? Just open your camera and feel free to ask dito sa Zoom. Yeah. So yung mga nasa Zoom, ito yung mga matatapang na gustong sumali sa event. Ayan. Ito yung mga matatapang na gustong mag, ano, magtanong yata. Joke lang. Actually, mas favorable sa Zoom kasi mas mabilis yung transmission ng uh, video and uh, audio. Ayan. Kaya siya na-share ko din yung uh, link ng Zoom. And of course, para dun sa mga gusto mag-join uh, sa discussion, pwede naman. Ayan. Okay. Let's go, guys, to question number eight. So question number eight, by the way, is identification, and we are now on the difficult level. So kung meron kayong hindi sure sa previous rounds, sa easy and difficult and uh, medium or average level, don't worry, guys. We will still have the difficult level, okay? So the first question on the difficult round, okay? Michelle Corporation sold its almost three powers in a deal to investors worth 30 million pesos. The sell towers were sold to Kensel and Jonard as part of the company's sale and leaseback strategy and which is also aligned with the DICT guidelines for the common tower policy. The sale is expected to generate significant earnings accretion each year. As of May 30, 2022, the 35 million peso cash balance per book of Michelle Corporation doesn't include the following items. Petty cash fund amounting to 10,000 pesos. Savings account BPI amounting to 50,000 pesos. Bond sinking fund amounting to 90,000 pesos. Receivables from employees amounting to 10,000 pesos. And then checking account BPI overdraft amounting to 50,000 pesos and then checking account in a bank closed by BSP, 30,000 pesos. Checking account, Mizu Bank, 60,000 pesos. Short-term deposits amounting to 100,000 pesos. And so meanwhile, as of May 30, there is still a 200,000 outstanding check per bank statement. So the question is, how much is the cash and cash equivalents of Michelle Corporation as of May 30, 2022? Ayan. Good evening, Rosie. Good evening, Jabbert. Good evening, Lorvena. Good evening, Krishal. 
So let me know, guys, if you're already fine with the question number eight. Okay. So let's just wait for a while. Habang nagbabasa kayo. Ayan. So let me just drink water, guys. Okay, let me know, guys, if you're already fine with the question number eight. So later, baka mag honk, -honk yung timer natin. Uh, marinig nyo yan. Ayan. By the way, uh, the sale of the tower, actually, it is very related to the sale of the smart and PLDT. So they sold uh, towers worth around, I think, 7 to 7 billion pesos, around 6,000 towers which is part of their sale and list back strategy and is in compliance with the DICT guidelines. Ayan. So, kala nyo, sa libro lang mababasa ang sale and list back strategy? No. Meron din po sa actual. Meron din sa reality in a corporate world. Ayan. Actually, meron din naman sa mga small business owner. Meron din silang sale and list back strategy. Though, of course, yung 77, 77 billion Peso na cash is actually a very significant amount which can be used by the Smart and PLDT group to finance their other activities. Ayan. So, it is, so it is expected to generate a significant uh, earning accretion. Ayan. Very good ang kanilang strategies. Ayan. At kung mapapansin nyo guys, nag-announce na rin si Globe na nagbebenta sila ng uh, mga towers. So actually, this is in line with the common tower policy. And sa ibang bansa, ganun na rin talaga eh. Common tower na rin. So those are shared from it, from the player sa industry. Hindi na lang isa yung, ano, yung may handle. Para maximize din yung resources ng tower. Ayan. Ayan, nagkaroon na tuloy tayo ng additional info. Habang hinihintay ko kayo kung ano nang nasabi ko. Sorry. <laughs> Ayan. Anyways... Are you already fine, guys, with question number eight? Cancel. Sir, wait lang po. Okay. I'm willing to wait. No, oras na ba? 7.41. Ayan, mahaba pang oras. All right. Question number eight. Petty cash plan amount to 10,000 pesos. Savings account. PPI, 50,000 pesos. And then bond sinking fund mounting to 90,000 pesos. And then receivables from employees amounting to 10,000 pesos. And then checking account BPI over truck mounting to 50,000 pesos. And then checking account in a bank closed by BSP mounting to 30,000 pesos. Checking account Mizuhu Bank mounting to 60,000 pesos. And then short term deposits mounting to 100,000 pesos. Again. Hmm. Okay, let me know guys if you're already fine with the question number eight. So let's give another one minute. So 7.43. 7.43 and then mag -hong -hong na ang ating mod, ang ating soundboard, moderator. All right, question number eight. Any violent reaction, clarification, question? So just let me know, guys, if you're already fine with the question number eight. So it's 7.43 na. So I think you can submit already yung answer niya for the question number eight. Okay. So let's now proceed, guys, to question number nine. Magpamali naman kayo, baka perfect nyo na. Ayan, question number nine na, guys, ha? Okay, question number nine. Michelle Corporation sold its almost three towers. Actually, this is the same question. Binago ko lang yung dulo. So medyo may konting trivia tayo. So trivia na rin yung tanong natin. So DICT, as mentioned on this case, pertains to. Ayan. So what is DICT, guys? Department of what? Okay. 
So the question nine is actually the same. Nagkaroon lang tayo ng counting trivia for the question nine about the sale and this back strategy of PLD10 Smart and the common tower policy, which is implemented already by the DICT. So the question now is, DICT, as mentioned on this case, pertains to... Okay. Bawal mag-Google search. Yeah. May monitoring. <laughs> yes, word po yung sasagot. Department of something. Gano. Pwedeng Department of... Uh, uh, Department of International Community Transitionist. <laughs> Joke. Okay. So I think we're already fine now with question number nine. So let's now go, guys, to question number 10. Question number 10. Rapidu.ph Incorporated, a.k.a. Rapidu, is a new entrant in the online aggregator business currently servicing local food and courier services, B2B2C, or business-to-business -to, -business to consumer. The main competitors of Rapidu are Grab and Food Panda. Figures and cash strategies are not actual and for educational purposes only. Ayan, dilagyan ko ng uh, disclaimer, guys, kasi Rapidu.ph Incorporated is an actual company. So on May 31, 2022, the balance per book of Rapidu is 1 million pesos before adjusting any data below. So standing checks amounting to 50,000 pesos, including 25,000 pesos certified checks, and then deposits in transit amounting to 100,000 pesos. Customer note collected by the bank as part of their collection agreement last December 31, 2021, amounting to 100,000 pesos. So yung agreement, guys, is December 31, 2021. Ha? Baka malito kayo. Pero yung collection is from May. May yung pinag-uusapan natin. Okay. So NSF check amounting to 150,000 pesos was received from customer on May 30, 2022. And then bank service charge for May amounting to 2,000 pesos. And then amount incorrectly credited by the bank to Rapidu amounting to 20 pesos. Okay. So the question is, how much is the adjusted book balance as of May 31, 2022? And... So let me give you a short background, guys, about Rapidu. Actually, Rapidu is one of our companies here in the Consolidated Matrix Group of Companies or the Consolidated Matrix Group and Affiliates. So we are engaged in the delivery services which are B2B2C. So usually B2B, ayan, mga business to business, B2C, business to consumer, and B2B2C, dahil iba na ngayon ang landscape ng competition, is a business to business to consumer. Okay. So if ever maging available ang Rapidu for marketplace, I will ping you again, guys. <laughs> so right now, we are just catering pa sa mga business to business. And not direct to consumer. Hindi pa yung marketplace, actually. Pero you can download na yung uh, application ng Rapidu sa Play Store sa iOS. And you can see na kung ano ba ang Rapidu. Ayan. Actually, ginagamit na siya ngayon. We already have more than, I think, uh, more than 500 to 1,000 riders na which are catering the, the Jollibee Food Group and other uh, companies. Yan. Okay. Question number 10. Okay na ba kayo? I think okay na, no? Wala na nagtatanong. Basic lang siguro, sabi ni Christel. Baka basic lang sabi ni Nora. Baka naiinip na si Nora. Baka naiisip, naiinip ka na Chesa. Ito pa eh. Baka naiinip ka na. Let me know lang. Alright. Lola Ben. Sabi ni Lola Ben, wait lang sir. Okay, waiting to wait po. All right. Since mahaba-haba yung tanong, uh, bigyan natin ng additional two minutes. So let's go, guys, on 7.50 p.m. Okay? So now we have just uh, two remaining questions and tapos na naman po ang ating accounting question. Yeah. 
Nakakailang weeks na tayo, guys. And uh, I'm very thankful that you're participating on this accounting quiz show. Yung mga nagtatap notch, sabihin nyo naman yung sekreto nyo. Share nyo sa group. Ayan. Anyways, guys, don't forget to share sa friends nyo din yung, webs, yung YouTube uh, channel and then yung website and, and Facebook. Ayan. Please hit them subscribe. Thank you guys in advance. Okay. And of course, sa mga nag-subscribe na, a very, very big thank you for subscribing. Ayan. So let's go for 750. And of course, kay Cancel din na, na nag-share ng ating channel sa kanyang Facebook group. By the way, Cancel sa Facebook group, kaya pala masyado siyang maraming friends. Okay, uh, any comment guys? Tapos na ba ang lahat? It's 7.50 na. Okay, so let's now go to question number 11. Baka inaantok na kasi kayo. Ayan. Question number 11. So by the way, in-announce naman natin sa community, sa YouTube community, kung ano yung question. So we have... Uh, Cash and cash equivalence question. And then, nahaluan siya sa dulo ng standard costing. Okay? Pero ano lang naman, hindi naman masyadong uh, mahaba yung question para masolve natin agad. Okay? So the question is, Leonardo Corporation has the following overhead information as of May 31, 2022. So 30,000 pesos for the total overhead cost incurred and then there is a budgeted fixed overhead amount to 7,125 pesos. And then there is a total standard overhead rate per machine R, MH, amounting to 4, point, uh, 4 pesos and 90 centavos. And then there is a standard variable overhead rate per machine R's amounting to 3 pesos. And then there is a standard machine R's allowed for the units manufactured amount, which is in 3,600 machine hours. So what is the standard fixed factory overhead rate per machine hour? So that is the question number 11. And question number 12, what is the denominator activity level that was used to set the fixed overhead application rate? Yeah. Okay, so that is the question. 11 and 12, and is and are the two questions, and are the last two questions for this accounting question. Okay? Ayan. Baka sabihin ni... Ni... Sino pa mga sabi? Baka sabihin ni Ivy, basic lang, ha? Ayan. Jamaica, basic lang ba? Carl. Ayan. Okay. I think you're already fine now with the question number 11 and 12. Okay na ba, guys? Joke lang. Nagmamadali ako. Baka kasi matutulog na kayo. Baka inaantok na kayo. Sige, cancel. Nag-joke lang po. All right. Let me read again, guys, yung question number 11 and 12 habang nag uh, ko kayo. So the question number 11 and 12 is, Leonardo Corporation has the following overhead information as of May 31, 2022. So total overhead cost incurred amounting to 30,000 pesos, and then budgeted fixed overhead amounting to 7,125 pesos, and then there's a total standard overhead rate per machine R amounting to 4 pesos and 90 centavos, and then there is a standard variable overhead rate per machine R amounting to 3 pesos and a standard machine R's allowed for the units manufactured amount uh, which is 3,600 machine R's. Okay? So what is the standard fixed factory overhead rate per machine R? 
And then, what is the denominator activity level that was used to set the fixed overhead application rate? By the way, yung denominator activity level, wala namang iba guys, sabihin ko na, machine hours po yun. So, need nyo na lang state kung ilan pang machine hours. Okay? So, yun, nakalimutan kong i-check na next ko agad. Ay, sayang yung points. <laughs> Okay lang yan, Mary Rose. Magpamali ka naman kahit isa. Baka perfect naman. <laughs> okay. Are you already fine, guys, with uh, the question number 12? Ah, by the way, guys, for the question number uh, 12, ano lang? 11, uh, one decimal lang. So for example, 1.1, 1.1 lang, or 1.2, 1.2 lang. Ayan. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Sir, wait lang po. Nakalimutan ko na po kasi. Okay lang, Kenzel. I'm waiting. Actually, yung question naman is ano eh. Uh, hindi naman siya masyadong mahirap. Kaya lang, since... Medyo matagal na yung ano yung cost accounting. For example, uh, ibang year na kayo, baka nakalimutan nyo na. Actually, yung mga topics talaga, hindi talagang balikan para maalala. Unless super, ano kayo, super, uh, super ang memory. Or, baka nasa heart nyo yung accounting talaga. Hindi nyo nakakalimutan. <laughs> baka nasa heart ni Rose yung accounting. Kaya, kaya hindi niya nakakalimutan. Ayan. Alright. Are you already fine, guys? So the question number 11 and 12. Oh, hi, Hazel. Thanks for joining here. Oh, nawala. Nawala si Hazel. All right. Sir, wait lang po. Uh -huh. Sige, sige. I think we can finish about ano, uh, 7, 5, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So we still have 4 minutes para dito sa question na to. Okay. Yung mga tapos na guys, you can submit na yung yung uh, you can click na yung submit. So that it can be registered already sa system. So by the way, meron tayong minus, minus 10 siguro, maksama nagdoble. Sorry kung humina yung signal ninyo. <laughs> Though depende pa rin kung makikita ko na ano, na, na humina talaga yung signal ninyo and same lang naman yung ano, yung yung tamang sagot ninyo for the previous uh, numbers, pwede ko i-consider. Pero yung standard natin, minus 10. <laughs> Alright. Let me know, guys, if you're already fine with a question number 11 and 12. So we have three minutes, and uh, we can now check after three minutes yung answer. Alright. We have three minutes. Sa mga naiinip na, sorry guys, wait lang kayo. Baka marami nang naiinip. Wait lang kayo ha. Review nyo muna yung, ano nyo, yung answer. Yeah. Marami na po nag-submit. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Lima. Ayan. Medyo madami na nag-submit. Ayan. We already have 26 people submitted. 25, sorry. 
Ito yun, natataas ang answer. Wow! May naka... May isang mali. Nagpamali si... Ano? Sino to? Si 175176. Nagpamali ng isa. Ayan, medyo marami na pong matataas ang answer. Wow! Mayroon tayong tiebreaker. Ayan. Ayan, buti na lang nagkaroon tayo ng tie-breaking ngayon. Ay, hindi. Mas mataas pala yung isa. Sorry. Okay, we still have one minute, guys. Para dun sa mga nagdo-double check pa ng sagot nila. Okay. So the question is all about standard costing. Ayan. So you already have 31 items. Sino pa po yung hindi tapos? Just feel free to chat before natin extract yung answers. All right. It's 8 o'clock, guys. So let's check na yung mga answers ninyo. So click submit para ma-register na yung mga answers ninyo sa website. Good evening po, sir. Ngayon lang po. Mahina po ang signal. Hmm. Sayang naman. Anyways, uh, we, already, we still have next account link we show. Bawi lang melody. Okay. Submit nyo na guys. Ha? And after a while, i-download ko na yung result. And then after kung ma-download yung result, hindi na po masasama yung uh, mga answer ninyo. So, need to submit na. Okay. So are you already fine submitting na? Meron pa bang hahabol? We now have 36, 35 submitted answers in the website. Again. Okay, we already have 38 submitted answers on the website. GG, nakalimutan na po yung formula sa cost accounting. <laughs> okay lang yan, cancel. Magpamali ka naman kahit isa. Ayan. Are you already fine guys with the question number 11 and 12? Okay, so 801 na. So, so I export ko na yung answers. Submit nyo na guys ha. So I will export na for a while please. Export answers. Okay, I'm now exporting yung answers. I'll just hide yung mga personal details ninyo. And then if you flash ko na siya sa screen. Okay? Alright. Alright. So for a while lang, guys. Ayan. Tingnan natin kung sino nang nanalo. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, okay. So ito yung answer ninyo. Ayan. So let's check muna guys for a while yung mga answers para kung if ever meron kayong questions or clarifications or violent reaction. We are very transparent here and we will address yung mga concerns ninyo. Ayan. Okay. So let's now go back to question number one. Question number one is all about true or false. Napahala na yun. Ayan. So under Section 186 of the Negotiable Instruments Law, a check must be presented for payment within a reasonable time after its issue. Or the drawer will be discharged from the liability thereon to the extent of the loss caused by the delay. By current banking practice, a check becomes stale after more than six months or 180 days. Wala naman akong binago, guys. That is the actual uh, uh, ruling pagdating sa, ano, sa stale check. So that is true. 
Ayan. Ayan. So, sino ang mga tama? Medyo marami po ang tumama. And of course, expected naman na yan dahil pagkaling kayo ang lahat. Kung meron man nag-false, baka nag-overanalyze kita. Pero that, that doesn't mean na hindi ka magaling. Okay? Hindi nag-indicate yung isa ng name siguro, kaya wala yung name niya. Ayan, question number one. Ayan. So, almost all naman is tumama, guys. Very good. Okay. So, let's now go to question number two. By the way, question number one is true, guys. Question number two. Uh -huh. Question number two. So, an impressed fan system used to manage petticas transactions as the following entries. Ayan. So actually, yung nandito naka-describe is for fluctuating fan system. So false po siya. Okay? False po siya. So, so not true. Ayan. So maraming tumama. Ayan. Maria, false. Tope, false. Ayan. May nalito ako. Nalito ako si Janelle. False. Ayan. Ayan. Reflected, guys, kung sino yung mga tumama. Anyways, ipopost ko naman itong, ano, itong Excel file. So, transparent naman tayo. So, after nitong quiz, ipopost ko siya dito sa website and as well as yung, ano, yung result ng event. Okay? So, let's check lang, guys. So, bilis na lang siguro natin yung reading ng question. So, question number three. So, question number three is all about a fluctuating fund system used to manage petticas transactions. So actually, yung B and C for the question number three is false. So that makes the whole statement false. So false po yung question number three. And, and so far, may mga nalito ako na nag -true. Sorry, guys. Alam po, alam nyo yan. Baka nakalimutan nyo lang since uh, masyadong general yung ano natin, yung accounting quiz fee. Ayan. Okay, pero ang sagot po is false kasi yun pong payment of expenses out of the fund is entered using debit, petty, cash, and credit. Uh, uh, sorry, is, use, is entered using another entry. Ayan. So when you replenish, another entry ulit yun. So, ayan. Okay, so number four, certified checks are those stamped by the bank indicating sufficiency of fund. Ayan. So this check shall not be included anymore in the total outstanding checks since these are no longer outstanding. Ayan. So actually, true. Ayan, true. Tama naman po, tinatanggal na talaga natin yung, ano, yung certified check kasi deducted na po agad yun sa balance. Okay? So itong description dito is actually exact naman yan. Ayan. So may mga nalito lang ako na nag-pause, baka nag or uh, baka... I don't know the reason. Yeah. Or baka, ano, baka hindi masyadong nabasa yung question kasi binamadali ko. Ayan. Actually, kakatapos lang din kasi ng quiz ko. So, medyo na-stress pa ako before the start ng quiz. Ayan. Anyways, let's go to question number five. So, yung question natin from last event is related din dito sa lapping, kiting, window dressing, and replenishment. So I think baka binalikan nyo yun last time. So ito yung tinanong natin ulit ngayon. So ang sagot po for question number five is, ayan, kiting. Kiting po ang sagot sa question number five. And of course, sa question number six, ang sagot po is, ano pong sagot? Window dressing. Ayan. Okay. And then sa number seven, Ayan. Any comment, guys? Feel free to let me know. Mabilis ba ako? Or need ko bang explain masyado yung mga questions? Baka may clarification din kayo or violent reaction. Just let me know. Ayan. Okay? So for the number seven, actually, ang sagot, none, guys. None of the above. So letter F. So tingnan natin kung sino mga tumama sa number... 
7. Ayan. Ayan. May mga nalito ako sa number 7. Ayan. Pero ang sagot po is none of the above. Okay? So bakit po? Kasi uh, first bank account is payment for employee payroll current po yan, current asset. One sinking fund, usually non-current po yan. And third one is overdraw, usually current liability. Unless merong bank account sa same bank, yung account is overdraw, is isang bank account lang, and hindi naman nag-exceed dun sa deposit niya. So pwede mo siyang init. Yan. Pero current liability po yung overdraw. Okay, question number eight. Difficult level. Any comment, just let me know, guys. We're very transparent here and uh, very willing to address yung mga concerns ninyo. Okay, question number eight. So, how much is the cash and cash equivalents? So, ito, itong nasa taas sa description. Itong the com Michel Company, Michel Corporation sold its almost uh, three towers. Medyo pampa ano lang yan, pampa haba ng discussion. Para lang uh, habang hinihintay ko kayo is uh, nag explain din ako. And of course, additional trivia for the DICT, Common Tower Policy. Okay. But the question here is how much is the cash and cash equivalents as of May 30? So add lang po natin yung 35 million sa petty cash, sa savings account, BPI, and then deduct natin itong overdraft, which is same bank, BPI, and then... Uh, receivables, receivables po talaga yan. So, hindi yan cash. So, huwag na natin isama. Band seeking fund, huwag na po natin isama. And then, and then, checking account, Isuhu Bank, 60,000. And short-term deposit, amounting to 100,000. Ayan. So, hindi daw kasama itong mga items na po. So, i-add po natin, ha. Add natin yung uh, petty cash, uh, savings account, and others. Okay. So ngayon, pag na-add natin yan, ang sagot po is how much? 35,170,000 pesos. Okay? Ayan. Tumama si Christopher. Wow. Nagpamali yata si Christopher sa tudo lang. Tumama po si Coquit, Coquilla Tony Rose. Ayan. Ayan. Sino pa? Bakit may number dito? Cell phone number yung nakalagay sa number 8. <laughs> Cellphone number yung nakalagay <laughs> Sino to? Sino naglagay nito? Michelle <laughs> Naglagay si Michelle ang cellphone number <laughs> Okay, sorry Okay uh, Anyways guys, itong meanwhile Hindi po siya relevant sa question Iyaan nyo na siya Huwag nyo na siyang isama Okay So since uh, cash balance per book ito of course, na-deduct na yung outstanding check. Deducted na yun dyan. Uh, in a correct way, deducted na po yun dyan. Okay? Question number nine. So, ano po ang DICT? So, DICT pertains to Department of Information and Communications Technology. Ayan. So, next time, kabisadyo nyo na yan. Question number 11. Ayan. So medyo may panghalo po tayo na ano na tanong, kakaibang tanong. So what is the standard fixed factory overhead rate per machine R? Okay. So how do we deter determine sa answer? Ang answer po natin is anong answer natin? Answer natin guys for question number 11. 1.9. Ayun, marami namang tumama. Marami namang tumama sa question number 11. Jemalin tumama. And then we also have Maria, correct? Rose, correct? Leonardo, correct? Quiz number eight. Sino si quiz number eight? Itago po natin siya sa pangalang quiz number eight. Ayan, tama po siya. Loleben, tama po. Ayan. And then Ahus, Mercaderas. Ayan, maraming tama. Okay. All right. So paano po tayo naka-arrive? So... Let's just get itong budgeted total overhead cost per machine R, which is uh, 4.9 minus 3 is 1.9. So yun po yung solution natin for this question. Okay? 
So after nun, yun ang standard fixed factory overhead rate. So 4.9 minus 3, 1.9. Okay. So now, what is the denominator level that was used to set the fixed overhead application rate? And so of course, uh, divide mo lang. So 3,750 machine hours na. Okay? Actually, kung gusto nyo balikan, pwede naman ninyong i-retake yung test or pwede nyong i-screenshot kanina yung mga answers para ma-discuss ninyo yun, ano, in, uh, in more detail. 8.40 na kasi guys, so nagmamadali na ako. Okay. Anyways, kung may question kayo or clarification, just feel free to hit yung uh, chat box para ma-answer natin siya for this round. Okay. Let's now go guys to the answers para magkaalaman. Ayan. Tingnan natin. Ten to the ten. Let's see kung sino na ang nagwagi. Okay. Dun to dun to dun. So, I will share again yung uh, stream para malaman natin kung sino na ang nagwagi for this round. Alright. Let's see guys. Mm -hmm. Si Maria... Earned 16 points. So she has a total of 64%. And then C912, sino to? Tinatago sa pangalang 912-0968-607. Uh, 20 points. 20%. And then we have Christopher. Wow. Nagpamali si Christopher ng ilan? Isa, dalawa. So 22 points. And which is 88%. And then we have Coquette Talonerose na 10 points or 40%. And then we have Mary Joy na 36%. Ayan, so far, ang leading po is si Christopher. Sino kaya? Ang panalo talaga. So we have Janelle na 28%. And then we have sino to? Nakatago yung pangalan. Anyways, pwede ko naman ma-check kung sino siya later. Pero 56% siya. Yung nagtatago sa walang pangalan. Okay, and then we have Jeanette, 36%. Yorika, 76%. Jackie, 36%. Michelle, 12%. Rayan, 40%. Marielle, 12%. Chantal, 52%. Ayan, leading talaga si Christopher. Sino kayang makakatalo kay Christopher? Okay, and then we have Blisna, 16%. Baka nagbigay ito sa mga friends niya, si List na. And si Paul, ayan, 16%. And then we have Chema Lin, 44%. And then Jeanette, 28%. Rose Ann, 44%. Leonardo, 28%. Edelo, 60%. Oh, sino to? 92%. Nagtatago sa pangalang wala. <laughs> Blank. Sige, tingnan natin mamaya. And then we have Chesa. Wow, 100%. Pinanis ni Jessa. And then we have Diana, 20%. Mary Grace, 16%. Zyrene Ann, 36%. Kate, 32%. Joanna, 76%. Noraline, 44%. Aus Mercadejas, 88%. Kenza Lawas, 36%. JV, 52%. Roda, 8%. Ivy, 16%. Romilin, 20%. Lollibin, 28%. Kenneth, 48%. Uh, quiz number 8, 68%. And Rose, 92%. And Leonard, 52%. So, yan. So, meron po naka-perfect. Sino naka-perfect again? Si Jessa. Yan. Very good, Jessa. Congrats, Jessa. Okay. Kala ko meron tie break. King, pero wala pala. Ayan. Anyways, let me recheck guys later yung actual result. Baka meron pa humabol. Pero for this round, we already have Jessa. Ayan. And I'm very thankful to Jessa. Kasi pinerfect niya ang ating 8 accounting quiz show. Pinanis ni Jessa. Ayan. Congrats po. Sayang, si Christopher na sana yung sunod. <laughs> Nagpamali pa si Christopher. Okay. Anyways, guys, since this is a professional networking event, let me just remind you na 
just keep on adding yung friends nyo para meron kayong bagong friends. Okay? So, I have refreshed na rin yung uh, website and makikita nyo na yung actual result dito sa website. Okay? So, Chesa started on 7.24 and natapos siya ng 7.57. Yan, pinanis na Jessa ang ating uh, accounting quiz show. Okay. And again, thanks guys for participating on this accounting quiz show. And thanks to Sir Alan for consistently inviting yung mga students niya. Ayan. So question guys. Jessa is back. Ha ha ha. JB is back then. Pero nagpamali. Nagpamali siya. Baka din yan, ano. Baka sinasadya niya magpamali. Alam ko panis yun kay uh, JB. <laughs> Ayan. Question guys. Anyways. Uh, for this accounting quiz show, I am very thankful guys na nakarating kayo. And see you again sa next accounting quiz show. Ayan. So later, we will launch yung another uh, program para sa uh, promotion ng page. So we will just advertise it again sa Facebook or YouTube. And uh, keep it up. Uh, just keep posted guys. So yung next accounting quiz show, I will post again dito sa YouTube uh, community and as well as a Facebook. So please join again on the next accounting quiz show. And again, congrats to Jessa. Jessa is back. Yeah. Very good, Jessa. Anyways, uh, don't forget, guys, invite your friends, classmates, kaaway, shota. Ah, Jo, huwag lang kayo mag-shota muna. Nag-aaral pa kayo. Busy pa sa accounting. Okay? So yung mga nasa Zoom, feel free na to open your cam and... Uh, let me know kung meron pa kayong questions or uh, clarifications. Jessa, hug na po ba siya, sir? Oh, teka lang. Tingnan natin ulit later. Tingnan ko ulit, ha? Baka ibang Jessa pala to. Sige. Jessa lang, Laura. Hala, thank you po. Let me check na lang later. Pero Jessa siya. Jessa siya. Okay. Sige, tingnan ko na ngayon para, para clear sa lahat. Let me check, guys. Kung sino ang Jessa. Ayan. Jessa. Baka sa Jessa Saragosa na to. Joke. <laughs> Corny, Corny. Jessa, Jessa. Jessa, Jessa. Si Jessa Lamora. Ayan. Si Jessa nga talaga. Congrats, Jessa. Wala, wala. Si Jessa talaga. Jessa lang wala talaga. Again. Okay. Again, thank you guys for participating in this event. And don't forget to share this event to your friends, families, uh, even yung mga neighbors ninyo, and then uh, yung mga kaawi ninyo. Baka dito nyo na sila pwedeng gantihan. Okay? And again, God bless to everyone and God bless to your studies. Again. Thank you guys for participating again to this eight accounting quiz show and see you next accounting quiz show. Bye-bye. God bless then, lol then. Thanks, Cancel. Thank you, Joanna. Thanks, Javi. Thanks, Edulo. Thanks, Danielle. See you in the next accounting quiz show. Thanks, Ivy. Ay, sir, pwede po favor? Tanong ko lang po, sir, kung pwede pong jumbo topic sa board exam naman po yung next para maging review na rin po ito namin sa board exam. Uh, pwede naman po. Pwede naman. Sige, try natin yung next time. Ikaw pa, Ken, sir. Malakas ka sa akin. <laughs> Pero still, we will focus pa rin dun sa, ano, dun sa main, main, uh, core, uh, main topic para hindi siya masyadong malayo. Pero mahaluan ko siya ng mga ano, other questions. 
for the benefit of uh, para sa lahat. Ayan. All right. Pwede na kayo matulog, guys. Good night. <laughs> yes, uh -oh. sige pang review. Good night, guys. Huwag na kayong mag-cellphone. Uh, Matulog na. Dahil alam ko na stress kayo for the whole week. Dahil sa inyong studies. Actually, graduation na. Meron ba kayong class? Alright. Bye-bye, guys. And see you in the next accounting quiz show. Good night po, sir. Ay, sir, pwede rin pong ma-extend ang 15 questions para po mas maraming pwedeng pag-review. Yes, pwede naman. Depends dun sa magagawa nating question. Kung mahaba siya, pwedeng less than 15, pero kung may ikli lang, pwede naman nating dagdagan. Huwag lang siyang mag-two or more hours kasi baka natutulog na yung iba sa, sa accounting quiz show. Yeah. Baka kasi busy yung iba. Pero let's try na dagdagan. Tapos ko na kasi siya last time, kaya hindi ko na siya na-edit. And nagkaroon din kasi kanina ng mga meetings. Medyo busy. <laughs> After meetings, meron din quiz. So tumulong sa pag-quiz ng mga bossing. Ayan. Ayan. Kaya medyo na, hindi ko na nadagdagan. Meron kasi mga nag mba dito. All right. I think we're done, guys. And again, see you on the next accounting quiz show. Thanks, Cancel. Bye-bye.